Hi everybody, welcome to a new video by Sakib Iqbal Digital and in this video we will go to uh, Canva video editor. So if you are pretty beginner in learning Canva, so this video is perfect for you and even if you are using for, for a couple of weeks or some time, so this video is definitely for you. So uh, let's dive into today's video and uh, first of all I am in the home page of Canva and here are a number of options out there, this is for you presentations social media and when I, when I click on video the number of options out there come in front of me that is easy to assemble videos that is video uh, whose size is 1920 cross 1080 pixels which is the size of the YouTube video then a Facebook video which is 1080 cross 1080 so this is about scare video then about video message which is same the dimension of the youtube video then mobile video which is just uh, 1080 cross 1920 pixels so i just simply click on uh, this first one option that is video and canva video editor is open in front of me so i uh, start from one option and i will cover all all the options out there one by one so first of all I start from the bottom bar so the the number one option in the bottom left side is notes so notes is is same as in the photo editor I just note down my uh, notes for example I write here anything that is this is a page one uh, consist of uh, uh, header uh, consist of consist of had uh, h1 heading for example so this is all about notes so it it basically remembers you uh, many stuff that you need to remember whenever you open this design in future so this is note and if you want to open this just click on this and if we want to close this then again click on notes and this is closed now even whenever i need to update it i can easily by again opening it okay so the second option is this is a timeline uh, actually time the total uh, the total uh, we, the duration of this video is 5 second and right now i am at standing at 00, zero. so if i for example click on this so uh, the time started from 0 to 5 second so this shows just uh, this this the number one time is just just count where i am in my video slash the total duration of your video then there is a there is a view that's a zoom bar you can easily switch from 75 percent 125 percent for example I, I switch on 200 so this video become a switch to 200 okay so uh, you you just uh, notice that couldn't uh, nothing uh, happen when I switch from 100% to 200% but let me clarify for you so this is why uh, it couldn't move so this is these are two options if I click on this and now zoom so this frame zoom zooms in if I again click on this so this this about the bottom timeline basically uh, zoom in for example if I zoom in so this timeline zooms in so video depend uh, consider of two things this is a frame and this is a timeline actually so uh, whenever the upper section of this uh, is selected the, the the upper part of this video is zoom that is this frame if the down down menu down option is selected or highlighted so this this timeline uh, is uh, that the frame on the timeline is zoom in so right now that the frame is selected and if i zoom in the frame the frame uh, is zoom in right now but if i again click on this so this is the the frame is selected if i click on zoom to so the zoom is on act on the uh, actually on the frame so i again click on the uh, timeline then this is a grid view that that uh, simply displays number of different options on there that if there are multiple pages out there then is a full screen page uh, full screen preview page uh, you can also use this shortcut that is control alt plus p okay so this is the help button then i come up this is the upper tab this is a bar this is a play button if i click on this so uh, the video start playing and if I click on again click on this so this is top this is the uh, you can say scroll uh, scroller that that you can bring it anywhere in the video for example if I if uh, if I uh, increase its uh, duration so there are two ways to increase its duration number one is this 
I can increase the duration of my frame uh, from this to or from this bar video editing, video timing option so it is also increase the time of this video okay so for example I I just cl uh, click on this scroller uh, here this is also called as mouse and I click the play button the video starts from playing from here and then if I click on this so it's again stop okay so if I click on this plus button so a new page is added in my page if I again click so new page is added in front of me when I add two pages one more than one page so there you find you can find a plus option in the timeline if I click on this so there are two options out there the upper option is uh, if you want to add a page so you just click on here and page is added where you need to uh, or the uh, the second option is this is a transition so a transition is basically when your video comes from this frame to this frame so you need a transition if i click on transition so our transition option is available right now so uh, it's right now none then you can use the resolve slide uh, uh, I, I don't need right now because nothing is added on my video so slide circle wipe line wipe and this one is beta and these are these one are two newly added uh, transitions in the video editor that is stack and chop okay so uh, this is uh, uh, if I want to add uh, a page so there are two options number one I show you from this and if you don't want to add from here this so you can also add from here but uh, the third way is also for example click any frame you want to add a page after that frame so if I for example if I select the second frame and then I go to this page and I, then I press the plus button so a new page is added in in front of the in next to the second frame so there are three ways to add a new page in Canva video editor okay so uh, the bottom two bars are, are just uh, covered up in this video right now and now I come in the upper section so this is the basically timeline or you can say the editor uh, or main uh, main main area where you where you adjust your video there is a comment uh, add comment option uh, and basically comment option is highly recommended if you are working in a team or if you share this design with, with your teacher or with with someone maybe your client or your contributor which I can comment by mentioning you for example if I click on at the rate of so there are a number of uh, uh, persons out there that that are added in my team that is ab nazir or asan mukhtar so for example if i click on asan mukhtar so i can write here and assign this to asan mukhtar for example i i say to as i request to asan mukhtar to update this design and and uh, send it back to me and i also uh, send the permissions that can he can comment or he can add it so right now i don't need to add anyone so i just delete this <clears throat> i click on cancel so uh, uh, the comment the comment uh, is deleted right now okay if i click on this so this uh, this, uh, this i already said it uh, it increases the duration if you want to increase the duration of all the time frames so i just click on this option apply to all pages and if i click the duration of all the frames are right now 6.5 seconds if i unselect this now I can uh, change the duration of each each uh, frame as well. Okay, so on the right side is add page button, uh, add duplicate page button or if I want to delete this. So there are two ways to delete a page. For example, first we have to select that page uh, to delete this and then press delete this, this delete button or simply press delete button from your keyboard. So you can easily delete the particular page on your video editor canva video editor so this is something basic and uh, now uh, what i do i just design a simple uh, video uh, for you in the video canva video editor so uh, before starting uh, editing video in canva let me clarify one thing if you are uh, making a video for your uh, uh, for your youtube shorts or Instagram Reels or Facebook Reels or uh, Snack Video or TikTok so Canva Video Editor is exceptional it is very good uh, it couldn't uh, take much time because 
if you want to record or edit a video for about 15 30 15 seconds 30 seconds or one minute up to one minute or two minutes so this camera video editor is perfect but uh, if you want to edit your videos which is larger than five minutes or eight minutes so it is very hard because whenever i tried to edit a video up to eight minutes it took so much time to render that i couldn't uh, be able to download it many times so it is a pro tip for all of you so before starting this video uh, i humbly request to subscribe this channel because many many good videos stunning videos on the canva and other topics are coming on your way okay so first of all i just uh, uh, need to decrease a size i just made a short video uh, just to showcase the how to use this canva editor more efficiently so i just want to uh, decrease the size uh, duration from 3.1 second i i make it from uh, i make it just two second okay so okay this is not a happen oh let me again change point two okay so this is point two uh, now i just like this frame and i go to upload tab and i and i just upload a picture here for example this one and i again close this i i place it in the whole page uh, within the margins uh, within the margins okay so okay what i do now i just duplicate these pages for example there are four duplicate same pages now i add transitions in between them i the the, the transition i like most is dissolve so you can easily switch between among all of these uh, which is already depends upon your need but mostly i use this dissolve uh, transition i click on dissolve so there is a duration of uh, what of what is the duration uh, you want to set for uh, for this dissolve uh, transition as my my uh, design is already one or two seconds so i just i couldn't want to change this but i click on this apply between all pages and it is already applied in between pages i okay so what i do now uh, i just simply click on its color uh, background color and change its background color for example around from uh, uh, this uh, i change the background color from uh, in the second page from this uh, in the third page i change to this and in the fourth page i change to i change to this okay so i also need the fifth page okay so i i i again here change to uh, this color uh, okay i need to uh, apply the transition as well here so none to dissolve okay what i do now i just download this uh, video i just download this video as as a mp4 video uh, you can also okay just let me play this one before downloading so this video comes in, in this way so uh, you can also download this video in many other options for example you can download this png PDF, etc. SVG. I I want to download this as a GIF. If I click on GIF, and now I downloaded this as a GIF. So there is a preview which which shows me which shows that what I am I I need to be creating. So one I make a mistake that I haven't uh, named this video. You need to be named this video before starting. Before because whenever you uh, need to search a video, there must be any name, particular name. Okay, so I just go to my downloads tab. Uh, so here is a gif. So here is a gif. I click on this and it is and it is open in the photos uh, window I, as i'm using windows operating system so let me show you in the full page so this is a short video i just created uh, in in canva video editor and it is gif so it is repeated in in the loop so this is the perfect uh, 
tutorial for the canva video editor if you if you are new if you are using already using canva but a very new person to canva video editor so uh, this all about this is all about canva video editor hope you hope so you like this video and a quick reminder to all of you that kindly subscribe to this channel comment down that you like this video and comment down any request for video you need from my side to make it for you and make your canva life super super easy and cool so thank you so much from sakmik bhal digital thank you so much for having me here thank you so much goodbye